For the second time this week, NASA has scrubbed the launch of its huge rocket Artemis 1 for that test mission to the moon. CBS 2's Skylar Henry explained what happened from Florida's Kennedy Space Center. This is Artemis Launch Control. Launch Director Charlie Blackwell Thompson just called uh, a scrub for the launch attempt today. NASA's most powerful rocket will have to sit on the launch pad a while longer after officials called off Saturday afternoon's liftoff because of a hydrogen gas leak. It was uh, characterized as a large leak. It's the second time since Monday that leaking hydrogen put the launch on hold. The weather was cooperating early Saturday morning when the launch team began loading nearly a million gallons of fuel. But just a few minutes into the operation, engineers noticed hydrogen fuel leaking from the engine section at the bottom of the rocket. The team tried three times to resolve the leak and all three times we saw a large leak. Citing safety, NASA called off the launch at 1117 in the morning three hours ahead of the launch window. We're going to stress this and test it and make sure it's right before we put four humans up on the top of it. NASA officials are going to meet next week to determine whether the rocket will stay on the launch pad or return to the vehicle assembly building for repairs. They'll also try to pinpoint a new launch date. We're not going to launch until it's right. Once Artemis lifts off, it'll send an unpiloted Orion crew capsule on a 37-day trip around the moon and back, a dress rehearsal that's another step towards sending Americans back to the moon as early as 2025. Thousands gathered along the Space Coast Saturday, hoping to see Artemis blast off. I dragged my wife down here. We got, we got here yesterday at 7 a.m., so we've been here quite a while. So it's kind of overwhelming that is, they, they scrubbed it. But since it was a no-go, NASA officials are keeping their fingers crossed that the third time will be the charm. Skyler Henry, CBS News at the Kennedy Space Center. And NASA says at this point it is still not sure what's causing the hydrogen leaks. Engineers plan to troubleshoot the problem, which NASA says could take weeks.